How to sign up for GitLab? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create and set up your free GitLab account. First of all, open up any browser that you are using and search sign up GitLab. And then visit to the first website signupgitlab.com. And you will be landed in the GitLab sign up page. And here you have to just finish the easy sign up process. At first, enter your first name and then your last name. And then create a username for your GitLab account. And your username should be available. Once it is available, now enter your email address. And then create a strong password, which should be at least 8 characters. Once you created a strong password, just scroll down. And now you need to solve a puzzle to protect your account. So here click on start puzzle. And just solve this easy puzzle. Once you solve the puzzle, click on submit. And the puzzle verification will be completed. So now again scroll down and here click on continue. Now you need to verify your email address to finish the GitLab sign up process. So enter the verification code that you receive on your email address from GitLab. And then click on verify email address. And the email address verification will be completed. Now here click on next. And then your GitLab account will be successfully verified. And you will be redirected. To GitLab account setup page. Now in this account setup page, you need to provide some information about you. So at first here under role, select a role that you are passionate about and that you actually do. So let's say you are a software developer. So let's select on software developer. And then under it, you have to select where you are signing up for GitLab. Here you have to select the reason that you find pretty familiar to whatever you are doing. But if you don't get your preferred option, here you can select on a different reason. And under it, you will get another optional option. You can also leave this if you want. But here I'm gonna briefly mention to do and learn much more things. Once it is done, now you have to select what would you like to do. Here you have two options. You can create a new project or you can join an already existing project. I'm gonna be creating a new project. So I'm gonna select the first option. And then lastly, select who will be joining GitLab. Here also you'll get two options, just me and my company or team. If you are doing it personally, just yourself, then here you have to select the first option. And if you are doing it for your company or any team, then you can select on second option. So let's go with the first option and let's click on continue. Now you can create or import your past project. If you already have a project, then you can select on import and then you can enter your group name and import your project. But here I'm going to be creating a new project. So let's select on create and then let's enter a group name. Here I'm gonna name it easy file 27. Once you enter your group name, next you have to provide your project name. So the project will be easy file AI. Okay, this is for example, and I will be creating a different project. This is just to help you in this tutorial. So here you have to exactly enter your real project name that whatever you are going to be doing in GitLab. Now once you enter your project name, next you have to select a template and it is optional if you want you can leave this but i strongly recommend you to select it and here you will get four options and i'm gonna be selecting pages slash plain html once it is done let's click on create project and there it is the project has been created now if you want you can invite a colleague or two to join you right now i'm not gonna be doing it so let's click on this cross icon and that is the GitLab account has been successfully created and set up. And here on the left section, you can find your project and all your account settings and everything. So once you finish signing up and setting up your GitLab account, now you can start using GitLab to plan, develop and deploy any software. So that's it. If you think this video helps you out, please consider liking this video and leave a comment. And if you want to sign up and set up your Microsoft Azure account, then watch this video and I will see you in the next one.